I can't think about any any other antenna that has more names than resonant cavity antennas. These are also known as fabri perot cavity antennas, EBD resonator antennas or ERAs, partially reflecting surface antennas or PRS based antennas, um, and also two-dimensional leaky wave antennas. Still, the configuration of all these antennas is the same. It's like this. There is a resonant cavity between a superstructure and a ground plane. Uh, then there is a ground plane which should be fully reflecting. Uh, in a lot of cases that's a metal sheet, a conductor which approximates a perfectly electrical conductor PEC. But this is not essential. The ground plane could be uh, any other surface, fully reflecting surface, such as an artificial magnetic conductor AMC or other types of 2D periodic surface. The most interesting part of the antenna is the superstructure. The superstructure has to be partially reflecting and sufficiently reflecting. There are a lot of choices for the superstructure. It can be uh, inspired by 1D periodic structures. It could be a 2D printed planar structure or a combination of those uh, or part of a 3D periodic structure like the wood pipe we saw before. The feed antenna here uh, feeds the cavity. It's a, it's a typical less directive antenna um, like a patch, strip, monopole or a slot. This concept um, has been proposed by Trentini long time ago uh, in 1956 in this paper. Uh, so for this antenna to work, this cav cavity has to resonate. That means the cavity resonance condition given here should be satisfied. The first term of the equation is phi sub that is the phase of the reflection coefficient of the superstructure. Second term is the phase reflection phase of the ground plane. So if it is PEC phi ground is pi radians. The third term is the phase delay, round trip phase delay through the cavity. Cavity height is h, so it's 4 pi divided by lambda times h. When you add this, all these together, that gives us the to total phase, uh, total phase in a loop like this, round trip phase. For resonance, that has to be equal to an integral multiple n times 2 pi. That is the cavity resonance condition.